Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here, and I am honored to be here tonight. <clears throat> and as the Caro might say, Erpachai Sanko, welcome and thank you from my heart, the dove of my heart. So tonight I'm going to speak a little bit about the medicine wheel and how it can serve you as a path of transformation as healing. Make sure this isn't going to fall off. There we go. <clears throat> My goal is for you to learn something about the medicine wheel and also to experience a little bit of the magic that happens on the journey. So we were doing some exercises along the way. So we're gonna start the evening by opening sacred space. And I forgot to warn the sound guy about this, okay. <laughs> and then after we open sacred space, I will tell you about how I ended up on a shamanic path. I'll explain what the medicine wheel is and talk about the different directions, the four different directions and what they involve and explain a little bit about why I love it so much. I'm not sure whether we'll get to, through two or three of the directions before the break. We'll play it by ear a little bit, but we'll have our break. When we come back, then we'll finish up talking about the, the last of the four directions and then we'll learn about the three worlds and how shamans travel between them. And then at the very end, we'll do a journey to the upper world to meet your celestial parents. And we'll have a short question and answer, assuming there's enough time left, but I think there will be. And we'll close sacred space. So there's your agenda for the evening. So we start off by opening sacred space. One of the things that we do in shamanic traditions is we always work in sacred space. And we're going to do that by opening the directions, calling on the six directions. So you can stand or sit, your choice. And let's see, I got my compass out, and south is basically that direction. So we start opening space in the south here. So <laughs> winds of the south, such a mama, great servant. Come, come and wrap your coils of light around us and teach us to shed our past the same way you shed your skin, all in one big piece. <laughs> teach us to walk softly on the earth with our bellies close to the ground so that we can feel the heartbeat of our mother with every move we make. Teach us the beauty way, how to see beauty in everything around us and within us. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. Teach us to have reverence for our mother, to walk gently with each step we take. Teach us to be connected to our mama. Come be with us now, all of the South. Oh. <laughs> Winds of the West, Otorongo, Mother Sister Jaguar, come, come and protect this medicine space. Come pad round it, keep it sacred, keep it safe. Whew. You who have seen the birth and the death of galaxies, teach us to be luminous warriors, to walk our talk. Mm, teach us the way beyond death, across the rainbow bridge and back, so we need no longer fear it. Teach us the way of peace, to live impeccably. Help us to move through each moment of our lives with courage and grace, joy and integrity. Come be with us now, winds of the west. Ho! <laughs> winds of the north, Serakente, royal hummingbird. Grandmothers, grandfathers, ancient ones, come, warm your hands by our fire, whisper to us in the wind. Share your wisdom and grace with us, please. <laughs> Serakente, you who feeds on the sweetest of nectars, teach us to feed on the sweetest parts of life, the parts that nurture us, and let the rest of it go. Remind us that just like you, even though it seems like we're not built to fly, we really can. Grandmothers and grandfathers, we thank you so much for stepping outside of time. We honor you and bless you. I ask you to come and be with us this evening so that we may all experience the magic of the medicine wheel. Come be with us now, all of the North. Ho! Oh. Winds of the east, Hatun Apuchin, Hatun Kuntu, great eagle, great condor, come, come to us from the place of the rising sun. Hold us close under your wing. Show us the mountains that we've only dared dream up. Help us fly around them. Teach us to find the knowledge that is stored there. Mm. Remind us that as you'd have, we can see, we have wonderful vision. We can see the big picture, we can see the small. Come teach us to fly wingtip to wingtip with great spirit. Come be with us now, all of the East. Ho! Oh. 
Pachamama, beloved Mother Earth. You who brought us into this world, you who takes us when we go. Thank you so much for letting us be part of your journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Pachamama. Mm, it is an honor and a blessing. Thank you for all our brothers and sisters and sisters on this journey. The stone beings, the plant beings, the two-leggeds, the four-leggeds, the creeper crawlers, the fin, the furred, the winged, all our brothers and sisters. May we honor and bless them as they honor and bless us. Come be with us and hold us sweetly on your belly tonight, Pachamama. We really appreciate it. Come be with us now, Mother Earth. Oh! Anti Tai Tai, Father Son. Come be with us now, Grandmother Moon, Hatun Chaskakuna, the Great Star of Nations. Great Spirit, Wankantanka, Yahweh, you who has so many names that nobody knows them all. Come be with us now. Shine your light and warmth down on us. Mm, come hold us sweetly and be with us all this evening. Come be with us now, all of the heavens. Oh! <laughs> to the center, to the one, all that is, come. Oh. Thank you. I bet we can. OK. So anyway, that was my shameless advertising pitch. <laughs> and I will go back to the medicine wheel. The archetype of the, I was looking to see if we had the archetype still up there. The north is the direction of the soul. The archetype of the north is Sewa Kente, the royal hummingbird. Now this is not a little hummingbird like we have here in North America. This guy is six inches tall. He's the royal hummingbird. And he's native to Peru, um, indigenous. Hummingbird feeds only on the most beautiful flowers with the sweetest of nectars. At least that's what the legend says. In reality, hummingbirds eat a lot of bugs. Uh, but we use the lore to teach us to feed only in th on the things in life that nurture us and to let the rest of it go. We don't need to feed on the flowers that don't have much nectar. We don't need to feed on the ones that don't give us nourishment. We only need to feed on the things in life that nurture us. Hummingbird also teaches us courage, courage to let spirit hold us and guide us because hummingbirds migrate from here to South America and back to North America again. A hummingbird can't even make it through 24 hours without eating. He can barely make it through the night. He has to go into a semi-hibernation state in order just to make it through the night. So he has to trust that the divine will provide sustenance from day to day and throughout his long migration. The North is the home of this lineage. In the North, you surrender all that you have learned in the South and the West, and you commit to a path of service to your soul's purpose. Whatever that purpose may be, you commit to serving your soul's purpose. In the, stone you receive, in the North, you receive a lineage stone, and you are invited to take your place by the fire with the ancestors, the grandmothers, the grandfathers. The work of the North is much sweeter as you let go of the roles you play so that you can spend more time with spirit. In the North, we're learning to spend time with spirit, to spend time outside of ordinary time, to spend time in that timeless place. And in the North, we burn your teachers. You burn your teachers so that you come into right relationship with the teachings. The teachings are what matters. All teachers will disappoint you. And I, every time I teach a medicine wheel, I tell my students, put me in the fire. And they'll go, what? Why? And I go, put me in the fire. Not literally. <clears throat> but blow my essence and blow these things I've taught you into a stick. Put that stick in the fire and burn it. Because I am human, and at some point in time, I will disappoint you. But that doesn't diminish the value of the teachings that I have brought to you. Therefore, burn your teachers and value the teachings. In the North, you become your own teacher. Thank you, and enjoy your break.